On the final night of points racing, Neil Wallenjabaugh rallied from 6th to 4th to qualify in the last spot for the championship dash. I'm going to come back with the outfit from a couple of nights ago. That outfit that ran last night in the mud and that, I would expect they're a little bit tired, so I'm going to come back with some fresh ones. The final foursome made for plenty of intriguing storylines. Combined, the group had won three of the last four Canadian championships. Neil Waljumba was a somewhat unlikely competitor, coming back from retirement to run all season long for the injured Ross Knight. Oh, we just need to go out and uh, have a clean run again, and I'll have barrel four, so that's not uh, too good. So uh, we'll have to just see uh, what, what happens after the horn goes. Devin Mitsuing was trying to become the first back-to-back -back champion since Wayne Knight won his second in 2000. Oh yeah, I'm, I hope hopefully it works out. I'll probably just give it to the old man. Oh yeah, he said he wouldn't do that for you though. <laughs> That's okay, I already got one. <laughs> Perfect. Ver Nolan was in search of his second Canadian championship, but more impressively, he was hoping to win the CPCA Triple Crown. Yeah, de definitely that truck. I mean, uh, it's I, I won it once before in 09, and uh, you, you know you get that now this year comes with, with the the high point champion with it. The show win, I, I definitely like to have it all. I don't think it's ever been done, but I, I don't want to sound greedy, but it would be a nice, nice thing to do. I don't think it's ever been done, so that's what we're gonna we're after right now. The only one of the four without a Canadian crown was BJ Carey, who was in the finals for the first time. It's exciting. It's um, I, at the start of the year, I never would have I never would have thought to be running for the truck, um, and after the first few shows, and my goal kind of changed to run for the truck, run for the trailer, and and uh, compete in Calgary at a higher level, I was hoping. On a sunny Sunday afternoon, the barrel drop laid out the same as the season standings. Vern Nolan was hooked on one, BJ Carey on two, Devin Mitsuing on three, and Neil Waljenbaugh forced wide on four. The stage was set for one man to become Canadian champion. Waljumba struggled off the fourth barrel, while the carry broke out in a hurry, stealing the rail from the favorite, Vern Nolan. Carey maintained the lead throughout the track, but would the rookie finalist have enough left in the tank to hold off the best in the CPCA? Carey led wire to wire, fending off a furious charge from Vern Nolan to cross the line in first. I just held on to them to the fourth corner and Devin was Devin was coming up the outside of me so I, I moved off the rail uh, going into the third corner and uh, pushed him out a little bit. I let Vern in. I knew that I knew Vern on the rail is he I didn't think he'd run away on me, uh, being that the rail was, was heavy and um, I just I, I let him push Devin out a bit so he had a little bit farther to run so I could hold him off. But there would be no triumphant celebration for big B.J. Carey. Eric Perry was assessed a late outrider penalty, moving Carey to third place, handing Vern Nolan his second Canadian championship and his triple crown. It's, it's, it's tough to swallow. Um, it's like Vern said, it's a shitty way to, to, to win, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's a terrible way to lose, that's for sure. But that's wagon racing. It is what it is. And it's never been done, and uh, we're pretty happy. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it takes years to, to over, you know, overrule that, but um, a lot of luck and uh, just things went our way this weekend. In one of the closest CPCA seasons ever, Vern Nolan was somehow able to dominate the year-end awards becoming the undisputed man to beat in 2013. I mean, I've been in the sport long enough that I should be showing some, you know, a little bit of color once in a while, and it's uh, it's time, um, you know, the Brian Labicanes and Ray Mitzwings, they've done it for years, so it's, it's not like I'm doing something that's never been done. It's just it's kind of the changing of the guard, and uh, they're tough. They're there all the time yet, and uh, there's new guys coming up below me that's outrunning me lots of the time now, so it's the sport needs it, and uh, we're pretty excited the way it's going.
Nolan's Outriders were Dallas Dick and Mick Nolan, the same men who helped him win it all in 2009. To add to the family celebrations, Mick was the top unsung hero, winning the Western Financial Group Outriders standings in a year where the importance of strong Outriders was never more evident.